What is up, my crafty friends? How is everybody today? I cannot believe it is May the 1st. Like, where did April go? I don't know. I just blinked and it was gone. What are y'all up to? I'm having the best day today because most of y'all know if, whoops, if you follow my channel, y'all know that I live in Florida and they totally opened our beaches back up today and I'm a happy, happy girl because I did get in some beach time and oh my gosh, it was just amazing. It was the best. So what's everybody up to? What are y'all doing on May the 1st? How are y'all? Can you hear me? Thumbs up if you can hear me. Thumbs up. Can you hear me? Hey, everybody. Yay. I'm so glad you can hear me. I still don't understand how all of this Facebook Live stuff work. Not Facebook, YouTube. Y'all, the sun has fried my brain today. I'm still learning how YouTube Live works, but I'm so glad that y'all are joining me tonight because I've got a super special treat for y'all. So yesterday I was in my yard and I was cutting the grass and I noticed that all of my pillows on my patio were just faded and gross. And y'all, Outside pillows cost a lot of money. Like they're crazy, crazy expensive. So these are the ones that I picked up last year. And last year they were so pretty and bright. And this year they're still pretty, but they're not nearly as bright as they were last year. So I had an idea pop into my head and I thought, you know, I wonder if I can use my Arteza fabric paints and paint these and bring new life back into them. Hey, Sharon, how are you? I'm so glad y'all are joining me. So that's what we're gonna attempt to do today is to paint these pillows and bring them back to their original, beautiful, bright glory. So give me just a second, I'm gonna turn the camera down and let's get started. So the paints I'm going to be using today are the Arteza fabric paints. And y'all, these colors are absolutely gorgeous. Inside the box, there's 24 colors. And I've gone ahead and picked out my palette colors beforehand just to make sure that they kind of matched what was already on my pillow. Now, you can totally paint your pillow a completely different color but I was really kind of digging these colors because they're just beautiful. So I've got fluorescent pink. I've got fluorescent peach, although it's more like a bright pink and a even brighter pink. And this is lime green. And then I'm also going to throw in some aqua blue. And if I need it, I'm going to go in with some of this wine red because that looks really close to this color here. So I will be honest, I'm not totally winging this. I did try this beforehand. And let me show you the difference. Let me get this out of the way. So this is before I painted, and this is after. Isn't that a huge difference? This is what they look like whenever I bought them. And I'll be honest, I did have the Scotchgard Sun and Water Shield, but I did not paint those, or I did not use this last year like I should have. And believe you me, I'm gonna do that as soon as I finish painting these this year. So y'all ready to jump in and see what we're gonna do? Oh, Geraldine. I'm so glad you asked about my daughter's prom. They had the very best time. Those girls were so shocked at what all we had done for them, and they cried. My daughter cried. They just had no idea that we were going to do all of that, and I'm so, so, so excited that we had the chance to surprise them. 
All right, so I'm gonna take a little dish here. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is to paint my pom-poms. That might be a little bit much water. So I'm just gonna use like a half and half mixture of the fluorescent peach. And I'm gonna water that down and I'm, we're gonna repaint these pom-poms. I'll be honest, the pom-poms are what I fell in love with when I saw these at Lowe's last year because I think they are just the cutest thing I've ever seen. So I'm just mixing this in here. Hey, Rosie from Magnolia, Texas. Hey, Josie from Colorado. LaVon, I actually do have some pictures that I posted on my story um, on my YouTube page. And I also posted some on my community tab. So if you want to check that tab out, um, I will definitely, I did post those pictures there. Susie, you're not late at all. We are just getting started. Geraldine, those girls just had such a blast. You've got, if you have not checked out my community tab where I posted the pictures, hop on over there after this and check it out because everything turned out even better than I could have expected. I had found some little tea sets for all of the girls and they were all different and they were little vintage tea sets. So that was their little keepsake from the prom and it was just a blast, such a memorable moment. They totally made lemonade out of lemons. Okay, so these little pom-poms, like I said, are what I fell in love with. And look, by watering the paint down, we're gonna be using it like a, like a dye, almost. I've actually, um, chalk painted a chair before, and this is sort of the technique that I did using chalk paint, but it was more like a dye. Did y'all know that you could chalk paint fabric? You can. Ramona, these were so cute last year. Like I said, they came from Lowe's, and they were kind of expensive, and I was really mad at myself for leaving them out in the sun without spraying them, but, you know, I swear, life just gets away from us sometimes, doesn't it? Hey, Sarah from New Jersey. Barbara from El Dorado Hills, California. What did y'all do today? I had so much fun at the beach. I really needed that vitamin D in my life. So this is going to take quite a long time, but the one pillow that I did already, I just kind of sat in front of the television and sort of just painted these as I watched TV at night. Makes a huge, huge difference and totally just brings this little pillow back to life. So now I want to do the same thing with this part of my pillow. So I'm not going to use the watered down version for this part. I'm actually just going to go straight in with the straight color. And the fabric paint is super concentrated. And it's pretty much just like coloring in a coloring book. But I hated to spend the money to buy new pillows. Number one, because they don't have these this year. But and number two, because, you know, they're just expensive. But I promise I'm going to take really good care of them this year.
Geraldine, you didn't know you could paint like this. Now these are fabric paints made specifically for fabric. And they're the Arteza paints. Now after we get through with this live, I will put a link in the description box if you wanna check these paints out. After we've painted a little bit, I can, I can show you what all the colors look like in here. I was really shocked that there was paints that pretty much matched everything that I needed. All of the colors just matched so well. But honestly, I just need an excuse to paint. I just, painting is so therapeutic to me. And when these paints dry, they look even brighter. Susie, you work today. Hey, Kelly from Virginia. Barbara, these are fabric pom-poms. They actually came like this on the pillow. And yeah, I just watered down my fabric paint and just painted right over those. So I'm painting upside down. I might not can see that one very good. I have to flip him upside down to do that part. But other than the pom-poms, the rest of this painting goes super quick. Because the main colors are already there, I'm just kind of touching them up a little bit. Erin, what kind of book are you writing? Do y'all hear my cat? No, buddy, not right now. You gotta hold on. He is such a mess. Yes, I'm talking about you. He's hungry, he wants me to feed him. Barbara, I'm gonna spray my pillows when I'm done painting with the Scotch Guard Water and Sun Shield. It's supposed to be really good stuff. And like I said, I did buy it last year, but I totally flaked and didn't use it. And hence the reason we are painting this pillow today. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa, I'm so glad you're inspired to paint your pillows. And like I said, you can totally use different colors if you want to really go crazy. But I was kind of liking the color palette that I had going on. So I decided to stick with this. Did y'all get a chance to watch the little lantern that I made yesterday on yesterday's video? Oh, Lee Bagby, thank you so much. You like the ladybug? <laughs> Actually, this little ladybug vacuum, my friend um, Keisha over at Sweet Urban Rose was telling me about this. And y'all, this is a vacuum. Like, literally, it's a vacuum for your desk, but it's a ladybug. And it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. So as soon as she told me about this, I had to go and order it because, I mean, it's just precious. So did you get a chance to watch the video that I posted yesterday with the the little lantern? That I actually put the lantern in my front flower beds and I love it so much. I only picked up one of those little planters from the Dollar Tree and now I'm kicking myself for not getting mower. <laughs> Nobody pronounces your name right. Nobody usually spells my name right. My, my name is actually spelled K-E-R-R-I, and it's hardly anybody ever spells it right, and I don't correct them.
Barbara, you missed that. That was a really fun video yesterday. Can y'all believe it's May? Like, I, I really don't even know where April went. I'm going to use a little bit of this lighter pink and then I'm going to go back in with the brighter pink and fill in this darker color. But do you see how nice that dries? It dries so smooth. Like you don't even see the brush marks when this paint dries. And these are the Arteza fabric colors. I don't want to paint some t-shirts now. Maybe paint a hat. During the summertime, I love to wear hats because I hate doing my hair. Barbara, no. Yesterday's video was not live. It's on my channel, and it should be the last video that was uploaded. So if you just go click on videos and click on uploaded, it should be the very first one. I actually made it using one of the Dollar Tree fence panels. And it turned out so stinking cute. Lee, you probably can use and paint a whole chair with this but it may take a lot if your chair is big. Um, I've actually chalk painted a chair before. Um, it's in my living room right now, and that was on my blog. So if you haven't checked out my blog, you might want to hop over to mamadares.diy.com, and I've got the instructions on how I chalk painted that chair. And it's, it's been about a year since I chalk painted it, and it is holding up so well. My husband thought I was total, I mean, just a nutcase for doing it. But it, it kind of feels like leather when it's dry, when you chalk paint your chairs. And the great thing about this paint is because it's kind of dyeing your fabric, even if I get too close to like this red color, I can just go back and touch up with my dark red wine color and you won't even notice it. So that's why I'm really not being very careful. I just want to get the color on there. Geraldine. You know, I, I do still kind of get a little nervous before I hit the live button, but y'all just make it so easy. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to work and talk and, you know, all of that at the same time because I hate, I don't want to miss anybody's comments, but it's, it does take some getting used to, <laughs> but I'm having such a blast. I'm really proud of myself for even trying it. Are y'all enjoying my lives? Hey, Deborah. Susie, I only watered down whenever I did the pom poms simply because. Um, I wanted it to really absorb down into it, and um, I was afraid it may not work as well if I didn't water it down. So that's the only reason that I watered that one down. But using, I'm using just straight out of the tube for the rest of the pillow. It's relaxing watching me faint. <laughs> I'm so glad. Painting really does relax me. 
It just makes me happy. Are y'all working on anything fun this weekend? I really have a lot of work to do around my house. I need to wash the gutters and clean the windows and all of that fun spring cleaning stuff. I'll be honest, I don't know why I haven't picked up a bigger brush by now. Let's do that. Oh, much better. See, I got busy talking to y'all and spaced out for a second. <laughs> What's everybody's plans for the weekend? Barbara, you have been watching me from the beginning. I'm, I just feel so blessed that so many people have stuck around with me through, you know, the very, very beginning. Because, y'all, I'll be totally honest. It's so hard to put yourself out there. You know, you never know how people are going to react or what they're going to say. And the trolls have kind of been hounding me this week. So, I just take it with a grain of salt and keep on trucking. But honestly, the good totally outweighed the bad. Oh, a drive-by birthday parade. That is so cute. I would love to see pictures of that, Barbara. So, is your state lifting any of the restrictions yet? Our beaches, like I said, open back up today. And I know we're going to be hounded by the tourists, but I'm just so glad that things are starting to feel back to normal. I just pray that everybody stays safe. Oh, I do totally kill them with kindness. I had somebody tell me that I was fake yesterday, and I just laughed. I said, I'm not fake at all. This is me. If you don't like happy people, then move on, sister. I just say a little prayer for him. Alabama lifted some of their restrictions. We've got a lot of Alabama people here, here in Florida right now. Have y'all checked out Junker Nugger yet? Y'all, her page is so fun. So I've started every Sunday, I've started to do a small channel shout out for anybody that is really, really close to a thousand subs. I really wanna try to help them get there and just really reach that milestone. And Junker Necker was my very first one that I chose. And it was actually her birthday on Sunday. And I had no idea that it was her birthday. And yeah, she was so excited. And y'all, thanks to y'all being so awesome, she totally hit a thousand subscribers on her channel. It really does make me so happy when people reach those milestones. Uptown girl, my first name is Carrie. It's K-E-R-R-I. Kind of like the lotion, but with one R. Do y'all remember the Carrie lotion? But mine, mine has two R's. What do you think? Can you tell the difference? Big, big difference. Aaron, really? September? Are you serious? Shirley Newman, you're in Florida. What part of Florida are you from?
Y'all, I'm not even kidding. I'm having withdrawals from no Marshalls or no Ross or Hobby Lobby. Oh, I'm just so ready for things to get back to normal. Isn't this pink beautiful? My cat is climbing on everything. If y'all hear something crash in just a minute, it's just my cat. Get down. No, get down, buddy. This is not my black cat. This is my orange cat. Erin, I, I think I missed it. I might have missed your comment, but what's your book about your writing? Geraldine, it's not going to be stiff at all because this is specifically made for fabric. So it's got some kind of medium in it that totally makes the fabric not stiff. And I'll put a link below if y'all want to check out the, the Arteza paints. My daughter loves to paint the backs of her shorts on the pockets. And she used regular just acrylic paints the first time, and y'all, it was so stiff. Those poor shorts could stand up by themselves. Which, by the way, I told her that y'all all want her to do a Facebook Live with me, and she promised me that she would. I'm not quite sure what we would do, but look, she redid my nails. What do you think about my nails? Aren't those groovy? She's my nail girl. I'm not even kidding. I'm ready to go thrifting, too. The thrift stores are my happy place. I'll be honest, I might like the painted version better than the original, simply because of this pink. I'm a pink girl. Pink is my favorite color, besides turquoise. What do you think? It's looking pretty good, huh? Oh, that would be a fun project to do with my daughter. Great idea, Sarah. She would love that. If y'all did not see the pictures from the prom, like I said, you've got to run over there and check those out because my baby girl just looked so stunning. She's just so sweet inside and out, and oh, she just makes her mama proud. I should have closed my door because now both cats are in here and they're driving me bananas. Get down. Uptown girl, you bite yours. You know what? I bite mine too if I don't have something on them. So that's why I do try to keep my nails done. Mine just don't really grow. They're just kind of weak and not very pretty. But she makes them pretty. You never 
never went to prom. Aww. John Connector, your your daughter's a senior too. I feel so bad for those for these seniors, but you know, it's totally gonna make them be super resilient and I'm just really proud of the class of 2020. <laughs> you spent your 31st birthday in lockdown. That's hilarious. My husband and I celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary um, at the beginning of April. And yeah, we didn't get to really do anything fun. It was kind of sad. We were supposed to go down to the Florida Keys for our 25th anniversary, and that didn't happen, so we're just going to reschedule it. That's life. You have to learn to go to plan B or plan C or plan D or whatever. This is a totally different color, but I may go back in with this lighter pink here. Twenty-five years is a super long time, isn't it? I love that man with everything in my body, but he drives me totally bananas sometimes. Guess that's that's how you know it's true love, right? They drive you crazy, and you probably kill them in your sleep, but you still love them anyway. <laughs> Shirley Newman, what part of Florida are you from? I'm in the Panhandle in Panama City Beach. I've gained a lot of new subscribers this last week, y'all. I just feel so, so blessed. Okay, then let me go back in with some of this lighter pink. What do you think? Huge difference, right? Okay, so I'm going to let those pinks dry for just a second. Then I'm going to go in with some aqua blue. The blue didn't fade as much as the pink did. Uh, Texas Two-Step, you can get the Arteza paints from um, the Arteza website, and I can put a link down below if you want to check that out. It is an affiliate link, so if by chance you make a purchase, I'll get a tiny, tiny little commission from that. And if you have made a purchase, thank you so much. Okay. Look how perfect this aqua color is. Isn't that pretty? You can barely even tell the difference. I love it. It's the same shade, it just brightens it up a little. Before and then after. Huge difference. The Arteza paints are amazing. Arteza actually has a YouTube channel, too. So if you have not checked out their YouTube channel, you should totally do that. I have so many Arteza things. And one thing that I really love is that everything comes in its own box. 
so I don't have to find little separate spaces for all of my paints. Everything is right there in its own box and I don't have to, you know, look for something else to put it in. Their packaging is super, super nice. What do you think? Can you tell the difference? Love it. Geraldine, y'all are celebrating 35 years. Aww. You were in bed for six months. Why? For your 25th? Well, hey, Tony from Ireland. Geraldine, I love this aqua color. I'm going to use a little bit smaller brush, though. Just to turn that corner. This reminds me of just like color in a coloring book. Now, when I get to this part, see how this part is kind of like dotted? I'm not gonna fill in everything. I'm just gonna take my little round brush and just sort of pounce up and down just to try to blend those spots together. I took a video of the beach today, so I will definitely try to put that on my community channel if y'all want to see what the beach looked like today since it was opened back up. It was so calm and so beautiful. The flamingo does not have a name. I've actually got four of these pillows. So I've got a little bench that sits out by my front door and I've got two pillows on that. And then I've got a little bistro set that <laughs> actually sits out in my front yard. and. My husband, again, thought I was crazy for putting a bistro set in the front yard. It's just a little small iron table and chairs. But y'all, my neighbors and I sat out in the, <laughs> on that little table and chairs in the evenings and we just have a blast. We'll bring over a glass of wine and the girls just sit out and just have a lot of fun. So it's like the community gathering place now. Hey Jamie Fleming. The fancy flamingo. I like that Aaron. It is a family of flamingos for sure. Oh no Geraldine, I cannot imagine. That sounds painful. Ouch. Okay, so now I've got more of this little dotted stuff again. So I'm just going to do like we did over here and just blend this in. I don't care if I'm following that exactly. Just want it to blend. I'm trying to decide what my next video should be, y'all. Does anybody want to see Mother's Day stuff or what are y'all thinking y'all want to see? Fourth of July. I have a super cute idea for a little wreath, but it's a bunny. 
and I know it, bunnies in my book are technically springtime things. So I was worried that maybe people would think it was Easter, but it's, it's not Easter in my book. Bunnies are springtime, but I have not filmed that yet. Hello, Karen from Australia. How are you? I'm not sure if the camera really picks up the difference in the blues. Thank you, Uptown Girl. Oddly enough, the black on these pillows did not fade at all. Like it, the black is still just as vibrant as it was the day that I bought them. So I don't know why the other colors faded, but the black did not. Good, I'm glad y'all can see the difference in the blue. Everybody's quiet. What are y'all doing this weekend? I know I asked earlier, but I think we've got some new faces. So tell me what fun things you're doing this weekend. I'm probably just gonna be working outside. Should I flip it over for the new ones that have joined? Okay, let me show you what this looked like before because it's double-sided. So this is before, before we started painting, and then this is after. Isn't that a huge difference? Geraldine, I actually do have something planned for Father's Day. Um, it was actually my husband's idea. I made one for him. And he loved it so much. He keeps asking me, are you ever going to film that video I want you to film? So he loves bourbon. Like my husband is a bourbon collector. And I made him a lamp out of a Blanton's bottle. Do you know what Blanton's bourbon is? Well, he loves his bourbon lamp so much. So he really wants me to film a tutorial on how to do that. So do y'all think he's right? Do y'all think that would be a cool, a cool tutorial? You could actually use the same technique for pretty much any bottle, wine bottle, whiskey bottle, or whatever, but just making it into a lamp. You would like that, Erin? You have that, Shaz? Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. I just got it in today, and he had to make an appearance. So everybody thinks that that would be cool to do. The bourbon bottle. Oh, y'all. Y'all are going to make me tell him he was right. I guess, you know, we have to give them their moments. Isn't that a huge difference? What are y'all gonna do for summer decorating? I've got a couple of things planned for 4th of July, so definitely stay tuned for those. But I'm kind of deciding what I wanna do for summertime. Seems like I did lemons last year, but watermelons may be fun to do this year. Watermelon is my favorite fruit. I love it so much. Geraldine, yes, on the Father's Day tutorial. These are actually fabric paints. So they're 
I'm going to pick these up so you can see. They're actually made specifically for fabric. And these are all of the colors. There's 24 colors in there. But even if you don't have a specific color that you're looking for, y'all can always mix the colors. I love to blend my colors together. Yes, on the watermelon. I think that would be a fun tutorial. Maybe a watermelon wreath. I think it's coming along really good. Of course, y'all know that I live at the beach, so I'll have to throw in some beach stuff, too. Okay, so if you've got a new favorite YouTuber who is kind of starting out, don't forget to drop me a line on my community page and let me know, because I will be picking a new person to feature on Sunday. So, be sure to, to let me know who you think is going to be a fun up-and-coming YouTuber that I can feature. Like I said, it's, it's so hard to, to get started. So, anything I can do to help somebody out that's just getting started, that makes me so happy. Uptown girl, you like watermelon too? Me too. Yes, this is a desk vacuum, so you might have missed it earlier. But y'all, look at this. My girl Keisha over at Sweet Urban Rose told me about this little baby. So look. It's for your desk. And the bottom of it pops off. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I loved it. Um, I think my mat the sheds is 24, yeah, it's 24 by 36. At the time, my table was not very pretty. That was before I decided to paint it. And so I wanted one that would kind of cover up all of the ugliness. And I had someone tell me um, in one of my comments that I was crazy for painting on my mat that it was only to be used for cutting. Oopsie. I mean, it washes off. I don't see what the big deal is. Oh, well, hold on. Flibber gibber a girl. Yes. You have no idea. I have been putting off starting my YouTube channel for so long because... You know, people can be kind of mean sometimes. You know, when you first start, like you're, it's it's nerve wracking. You don't know if anybody's going to watch. You don't know if they're going to make fun of you for your accent. Like, people can just be brutal. But I have to say, for all the bad ones, you get 500 good ones. But when you start your channel, just be prepared to, you know, Grow some thick skin because people will say mean, mean things to you. You just got to let it roll off your back and say a little prayer for those people and just know that they must be going through something really bad to, <laughs> to have so much hate in them. Susie, you found a light of one that you like. I mean, I'm, op I'm open to anybody that's sort of new or at least that doesn't have a huge following. I mean, I love the bigger YouTubers, don't get me wrong, but I love to help the small person, you know. 
somebody that's just getting started that kind of needs a little bit of help or whatever. Because I'm, I'm telling you, I know what it's like and I know how hard it is. So anything I can do to help the little person, that's what I really enjoy. She says, they, look, the, the trolls have just really been stuck in my channel this week. I mean, they have just been tearing me apart over everything. Somebody told me that I was fake and that I made them want to puke because I was so fake. And I'm like, well, that's got a meme. So, they literally said that. They wanted to puke. Honestly, people about my accent really have not said as much as I figured they would. Most people say that I talk too much, and I'm okay with that. I mean, most Southern girls do talk too much. Hey, sweet Urban Rose. Look, look what came in. Everybody is loving all my little ladybug. They are totally digging it. You know what? I totally suggest anybody that thinks they might want to start a YouTube, you just have to do it. Sweet Urban Rose is a prime example. She has been watching my channel since the day that I started, and she now has a channel because I made her start one. She is just, she was afraid, she was scared, she was, she was just like that. And I told her, I said, you just got to do it. Don't, don't think about it too long because you'll talk yourself out of it. You just have to do it. If it is meant for you, and that's, that's part of your direction and your path, it will all work out. And now she is just having a blast. And if I, I'm open if anybody wants to start a channel and they think they might have questions i mean i'm in no way shape or form an expert but i am more than willing to help anybody there is room at the table for everybody uptown girl they are unhappy people and i you know i try not to be bitter about it if they say something mean i just try to laugh about it and you know it is what it is, but that is my best advice for anybody that thinks they want to start a channel is just grow thick skin. Because I'm not even kidding. When I first started my channel and somebody said something ugly, I cried. <laughs> I'm tender hearted. I'm very, very tender hearted. You tell them, sweet Urban Rose. She does look cute hanging out with me on my table, doesn't she? <laughs> so I started my channel in August of last year. And it, it has just amazed me at how fast and crazy it's gone by. Like it, it's just, it's surreal some days. It gets a little overwhelming sometimes, but, you know, it's so much fun. The friends that I've made since I started my channel and the connections that I've made, I mean, they're just lifelong. Oh, Flipper Gibber, thank you. I really do try to stay positive and have a, I have a really positive attitude. You know, I do smile a lot, and I just think it takes twice as many face muscles to frown as it does to smile. So, if you see me with a frown on my face, it has to be super bad. If these ugly people on YouTube can't make me frown, I don't think anything can. Sarah, I just use my, my cell phone. I mean, yes, you can spend as much money as you want to 
on a setup and special equipment, but you know, I'm not tech savvy at all and I'll be the first to admit it. And that was one of the things that made me nervous about going live was because I didn't really understand how it worked because I'm, I'm you know, I know how to push record on my cell phone. So that's what I use. Eventually, I would like to upgrade to something better and, and have a nice microphone and all of that. But people are going to watch if they like what you do. I think they watch. A lot of people watch if they like you personally. So I try to tell everybody, like, it's hard to show your face, but it's so important to show your face in your videos. People like that connection. Don't y'all think so? She's, you were one of the first ones. I remember you when I first started my channel. Like, you, you've been around pretty much since day one. Geraldine, people are, they are just, they, they could be really mean. Well, people say I talk too much in my videos. They, they want me to speed up the video, but honestly, I do my videos for the person that wants to learn. Like, I'm a teacher, so I, I like to give too much information for the person that this might be their very first time to even try a craft. So, when I, I do try to give more information than you might need, but you never know when it's somebody's first time to try something. Okay, what do y'all think? Well, Alexandria, thank you so much. I really do try to be myself. If they don't like it, you know, they don't have to watch. <laughs> Are these out of stock? Oh, no. Shoot. They can just skip ahead, and that's what I told them. They can fast forward and do 2X if they don't want to watch. It's totally up to them. Okay. So we've got a couple of new people, so I'm going to show the before, so I'm going to flip it over. This was our pillow before, and it's all faded and just not very bright, and then this is the after. Let me show you the little, here's our little pom-poms we painted too. My ring light might be showing too bright to be able to see the difference. Susie, you should totally do it. I'm telling you, if anybody has any questions about starting a channel, like I said, I am in no way, shape, or form an expert, but if I can help answer any questions or anything at all, like, don't hesitate to hit me up. My email address is carrie at mamadarestodiy.com. It's also in the About Me on my YouTube channel. This one side's almost done, y'all. I won't bore y'all with painting all of these little pom-poms because it is a little bit time consuming. But do you see the reason that I watered it down? So it kind of like absorbs and spreads around versus trying to sit there and paint it. So it does work a lot better if you water your paint down to paint your pom-poms. Jamie, I agree. <laughs> All of their paints are out of stock. You might can check Amazon too. Sometimes Amazon carries the Arteza paints. I think a lot of the online retailers are out of stock with stuff between people being quarantined and at home and they're not able to get their shipments either. So I know one of my girls at Arteza, she did tell me that they were waiting on some shipments to come in. Oh, flipper giver, thank you. Yeah, I promise I'm not. This is just me. Like, it's it's not fake. It's just, this is how I am every day. Susie, I would totally watch you too. I'm telling you. Hit me up if you want some somebody to sound off to or talk to about it. 
because I am here. I am a huge, huge cheerleader for anybody that thinks they might want to start a channel. And I'll be honest, y'all, it is, it's kind of hard to get subscribers at first, but it only takes one video for your channel to blow up. It just so happened that my channel kind of blew up with my very first video. So, I accidentally became a YouTuber. I, I, the one video that, that kind of blew up my, my channel was actually made for my blog. So, I have a blog, and it's called MamaDareStudyIY.com. And, yeah, it was, I was trying to write a tutorial, and it just wasn't working out. So, my friend Kippy told me, well, let's just do a, a video. And, y'all, I did the video, and it just kind of went viral. So, I tell people I accidentally became a YouTuber. I had no intention. I was terrified of starting, but I did it. So, you know, that's just, you never know. I think when it's your path, it just happens. Lacey, my Walmart's out of Waverly Chalk Paint, too, and I need some so bad. There's so much crafting going on. No, Jamie, I don't think tutorial flashcards would be as much fun. <laughs> and I'll be honest, I never expected anybody to watch the very first tutorial that I did. I didn't even tell my family that I was starting a channel. I just did it. And then a friend of mine messaged me and she was like, um, why don't I see your face on YouTube? I didn't know you had a channel. Oh, thank you, Lacey. People are definitely watching a lot of YouTube right now. I've been watching a lot of Netflix recently. Are y'all Netflix and chilling? Reba, thank you. You're from Arkansas. What part of Arkansas are you from? Aaron, you know, I do love to cook. And I've actually asked before on my community tab if people might want to watch um, some cooking videos. And a lot of people said yes, that they would. And I have thought about it, but I just haven't done it. I, a lot of my cooking is done in my cast iron skillet because, you know, being from the South, that's how I was raised. We cook everything in our cast iron skillet. So I don't know if there would be a you know, if people would want to see that, I don't know. But for tonight, <laughs> I cooked a huge pot of homemade chicken noodle soup for my daughter. That was what she requested. You're from Little Rock? Aww. Denise? I love Hallmark Channel, too. You know, it's funny. I really try. I don't watch as many videos on YouTube. <laughs> I really don't. I don't watch a lot of YouTube. I'm almost scared to watch a lot of crafters on YouTube because I don't want to copy them. Don't you think you kind of get inspired by somebody and but I don't I don't want to copy anybody I do try to I try to do things that most people haven't done or I try to do original stuff you have a southern accent Shays <laughs> So y'all think people would watch Southern cooking videos? I do try to do some 
some low carb stuff. I used to be strict keto and eat no carbs at all, but I've kind of gotten off the bandwagon. Hence the reason I made chicken noodle soup today. Are y'all bored with me just painting these little pom-poms? Look how cute it's turning out. I do not have a jambalaya recipe. I might know somebody that has a good jambalaya recipe if they would give it to me. Pam, I can give you some tips on what I use to edit, but it's the editing is really not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I was totally scared of editing, but it's the program that I use is super, super easy. Can you believe the difference in those little pom-poms? I love it. Like I said, the pom-poms are a little bit time consuming, but I just, you know, do it while I'm sitting in front of my television and it's not that bad. Oh, Helen, thank you. So y'all do think that people would watch Southern cooking? Debbie, I still love Paula Dean too. So you don't think people, if they subscribe to my channel, being a crafting channel, you don't think it would make people mad if I did cooking videos too? I know y'all would still watch. I could put a video of anything and y'all would watch. Okay, well, I'm almost out of paint here, and I won't keep y'all any longer, so I won't mix up any more tonight. Oh, Shaz, you're so sweet. Thank you. Erin would love some cooking videos. Okay, so again, we've got a couple of new people here, so I'm going to flip it over and show y'all the before. This was our faded pillow that I picked up last year from Lowe's. They were kind of expensive. I think they were like $25 a piece. And it faded, and now I have repainted it. And now it's just as bright and pretty. Now, if I wanted to paint some of the lime green, I could do that too. Oops, I haven't even opened this. But I don't hate the color of the lime green that's on the pillow now because it's really not faded that much. But I just want to see what it looks like. Maybe I'll just go in and put some shadows. Yeah, that brush has got something on it. Oh, uh, y'all, I may do that. I may go back and paint that. <laughs> It is a really pretty lime green. I love bright colors. Whoopsie. My brush was a little bit too big. That's okay. I'll touch it up with my wine. No, not drinking wine. Wine color. But I think I just want to do this. I like the faded out look from the outside. So I think I'm just going to go around the edges here. Let's use round brush. Add one food video a month. I could do that. Yeah. Okay, so I have to tell y'all, I have a crazy good chocolate chip cookie recipe. And when I tell y'all it is the bomb.com, I'm not kidding. It is the very best you will ever put in your mouth. So I could do that recipe. 
Would y'all like a chocolate chip cookie recipe or would you like more savory? I think a lot of people just want comfort food. <laughs> Regina, you would love to learn how to cook on cast iron. Okay, I might have to add some cast iron cooking videos. The trick to cast iron is to not use soap when you wash your pans. And always, always, always season it when you're done. That's the, that's the trick to using cast iron. But honestly, your food tastes so much better when you cook with it. Who here cooks with cast iron? Melinda, you want the cookie recipe? Okay. Never, ever, ever put your cast iron anywhere near a dishwasher. That is total ruin. Now, if you do get some stuff in the bottom, like if something does happen to stick, then you can put a little bit of salt, and that's what you can clean with the damp rag. But other than that, no soap, no nothing. Just rinse it and wipe it back down with your oil. That is the trick. Definitely keep that thing seasoned. Good night, Karen. Okay, I might have to add those. I love the lime green too. I'm so glad I decided to add some of this in there. Okay, so what should the first cooking video be? Should it be the chocolate chip cookie recipe? I think with a lot of the kids being out of the school that the mamas can love the chocolate chip cookie recipe. I'm not even kidding. You can bribe your kids with this recipe because they'll be like jello in your hands. They'll do anything for that cookie. Hey, Liz, better late than never. What do you think? I really love the lime green. Oh man, I see tons of chocolate chip cookies. Okay. Chocolate chip cookies it is. Oh, Geraldine, a cake decorating tutorial. I don't even know if I have all of my cake decorating tools even unpacked. They are still in my storage building. What do you think? I think the green was a definite choice. Jamie, are you serious? Oh my gosh. Okay, Alexandria, that's a cool idea. Okay, so if I did a cast iron skillet recipe, maybe I could put the um, ingredients down, maybe on the community tab, like put the ingredients list down if I did a live. And then whoever wanted to cook along with me, that may be kind of fun. Denise, my honey, is still offshore. The good Lord willing, I'm hoping that that everything is okay and that everybody still has their jobs. It's a crazy time right now. Definitely not looking good for our offshore guys. I just pray, pray, pray that it picks up. But so far, he is still out.
That does sound dangerous, doesn't it? <laughs> now, I do know that I've picked up some cast iron skillets before at like a flea market. And you can put them into like a fire. Like if you have a bonfire or something or whatever, you can put and it'll burn off all the rust. So I do know that that is possible because I have done that before. Yes, he is, so my husband is offshore. He's an electrician on a drill ship offshore. He's been in Spain for a long time and now he's back in the Gulf of Mexico. So y'all, the you know, the coronavirus stuff does scare me, but I honestly think that my husband brought it back from Spain back in January because we were both super sick back in January. And I don't usually get sick at all. Like I, I don't, I've never even taken an antibiotic. So I'm convinced that he and I both had coronavirus before we knew what it was. Liz, that's right. My mama would have whipped me if I even went anywhere near her cast iron with anything other than a, a rag, a wet rag. Regina, I just use oil to season my skillet. So that's, I mean, pretty much that's it. So I have, I'll be honest, you know, I'm from the South and we save bacon grease. So I personally save my bacon grease and that's what I season my skillet with. But my grandma, she seasons hers with just regular vegetable oil. So as long as it's some type of oil. But I can cook um, a fried egg in my seasoned skillet. And I have some pretty nice cookware, but cast iron is my go-to of choice. You save your bacon grease for your dogs. My dog loves bacon grease too, but it makes him so sick. Sometimes he goes through spells where he won't eat his food. And if I try to put bacon grease on it, it makes him throw up. <laughs> Those crazy dogs. This pillow is almost done. And I store my skillet turned upside down in my oven. That's how I store it. So after you wash it, I rinse it out and I heat it up on the stove to make sure there's no water in it. And then I wipe it down with oil and turn it upside down into my stove. And that's how I store it. Oh, so just a little bit of spoonful for your dog? Okay, maybe that's what it was. Maybe he ate too much. What do you think? Too much bacon grease gives a dog pancreatitis? Really? I had no idea. Denise, you serve, you store yours on top of your stove?
All right, y'all. I honestly think this pillow is done. I'll finish all of the pom-poms after we're done here because I'm sure y'all have better things to do than to watch me paint pom-poms. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over because we do have some new friends that joined us. So this is what our pillow looked like before. And then this is what it looked like after. It's the same pillow. It just got a nice bright coat of paint and yeah, it looks so much better, don't y'all think? It does sort of look like velvet now, doesn't it? And once it dries, everything kind of blends in a little bit better. So right now, it does have a little bit of a different look than when it dries. But I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to get this finished and put it back on my benches so y'all can see what they look like. Now, I will put a picture of the benches whenever... Um, I get everything painted. So check the community tab if you wanna see what it looks like after they're done. Does anybody have any questions? I think the lime green totally made it pop too. Definitely a night and day difference. So Melinda Joe, this is Arteza fabric paint. So this is specially made for fabric. So when you paint on your fabric, whether it's a pillow or a t-shirt or jeans or whatever, any kind of fabric, your fabric is not gonna get stiff and hard. You can still, oops, hold on buddy. So this is one that I painted beforehand and you can see it's not stiff or anything. It's nice and smooth and soft, just like normal fabric would be. It will not get crunchy at all. But look, this is the difference. Once it dries, your colors do tone down a little bit. So just know that it's super bright right now, but it's gonna be muted down to this. This is what it dries to. I had to get my cat off of that pillow. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie, she did. I don't know what happened there, y'all, but thank you. Yes, my daughter did do my nails. She makes sure that my nails are always done, and she wanted to do every nail a different color this time, so I let her do whatever she wants to. <laughs> she is totally my nail girl. No, I did not do the green on the other pillow yet, so that's why it was a little bit muted. This is what it looks like before. Denise, I do love these Arteza paints. So somebody said that they were sold out online, but definitely be sure to check back because my girl at Arteza did say that it had been a while since they got their shipments in. So if they're sold out now, definitely keep checking back with them. You definitely could paint over an entire pillow to cover your design. This wouldn't, I just happened to, you know, pick up from last year, but you could paint it a different color. They're super, super concentrated paint, so a little does go a long way. Melinda Jo, these paints came off the Arteza website directly, but check Amazon because they do have them sometimes, but definitely check the Arteza website, and I'll put a link down below in the description box so that uh, you can have a link to go directly to it. Denise, you've never done fabric painting. I'll be honest, this was my first time to do it, and it was so easy. My daughter has painted lots of clothing and stuff before, but she used regular paint, and it, it is not nearly as nice and supple as this is. Yes, you can totally wash this. You can totally dry it. It will last through anything. They are non-toxic, yeah, wash and dry fabrics, do not use fabric softener, yeah, you can pretty much use them on any fabrics whatsoever. Oh, one thing that I do want to mention that I did, let me move this out of the way. 
So, my good friend over at Subu Designs, she is a chalk couture rep, and I'm going to put her information right here on the screen so you can see that. Her name is Suzanne King, and she is with Subu Designs. And y'all, look, I used one of her chalk couture stencils, and I used the fabric paints to decorate one of my little kitchen towels. Isn't that cute? So I will be working with some more of the chalk couture stuff in another video, but look at this cute little beach day sign that I did. The chalk couture stuff was so simple and so easy. And I cannot wait to do some more with this. Have y'all ever used chalk couture before? It's out of focus. See, this was the transfer that I used for this one. But I totally thought it was a great idea to use these same chalk couture stencils with the fabric paint. That way you don't have to be an artist. Literally. Here, let's see. Do y'all want to see me do one? Let me do something else on here. Let's do, let's do this one. So this is just a normal towel, my kitchen towel. And I did this one earlier just to see if it would work because I honestly wasn't sure if it would or not. So I'm just gonna peel off my transfer. Let's see, let me do these leaves. Let's do them in. Uh, yeah, let's do them in green. Are y'all familiar with the chalk couture? Okay, let's make sure this is nice and stuck. I love the washable paints though. I've got so many fun things planned for summer. But my one weakness for my kitchen, I totally admit, is those dang kitchen towels. I love cute kitchen towels and I have them hanging everywhere. And my husband asked me, do we really need all of these towels? And the answer is yes. Yes, we do. I might have been better off using pink for this one. My belly's growling. Oops, that one didn't quite do all the way. This blue might have been a bad choice. It's probably not going to show up as good as my pink. cute. So that's an easy way to just decorate your kitchen towels. Or you can decorate a t-shirt. I've got on a plain t-shirt right now and you can totally decorate it with your chalk couture stencils and your fabric paints. No, she says they cannot use our decorative kitchen towels. They're just for looks. <laughs> I grew up learning how to cook on cast iron too. Okay, so 
I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek of the Chalk Couture because they are some super cute, fun things for summer. Look at this one. I love this. Summer, please. Sun, please. Sun, please. And then look at this one. Y'all know I live at the beach, so isn't that pretty? I've got something really special planned for this one. And then this one, too love seashells and again this is Subu designs and I'll put her information down below in the description box so you can definitely find out more about Chalk Couture if these transfers are something that you would be interested in look at this one I love this one for the 4th of July isn't that pretty Terry, I do have the Arteza paints. I use that's a lot of the paints that I use. And the ones that we use today on our pillow were Arteza paints. The markers, um, I have not used just the normal markers, but I've used the fabric markers. And I really love their fabric markers. I mean, it's like one swipe and it's done. So those are really cool. Look at this one. Less Monday, more summer. Isn't that adorable? So stay tuned because I don't know if I'll do a regular upload video or if it'll be a live, but I will definitely be using this Chalk Couture um, transfers and stencils for an upcoming project. Good night, Alexandria. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I will definitely do a cast iron skillet cooking show for y'all. Okay, y'all. I think that's all I've got for y'all. Do y'all have any questions or anything? Anybody have any questions? Questions, comments? Anything at all? Yes, no? Good night, Jamie. Have a great weekend. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, y'all. Oh, Erin, thank you. When does Halloween decorations start? Not soon enough. I love Halloween. Good night, Liz, or good morning, I guess, since it's 2 a.m. in the UK. <laughs> You'll think of 100? Okay, great. <laughs> okay, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Happy Friday. Happy May. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. Bye. Good night, guys.